An actor, Harrison Ford, escaped a close call while flying his plane at the John Wayne Airport in February. And now he's escaped serious consequences from the feds. Hello, everyone. I'm Juan Fernandez. And I'm Lena Wynn. KCAL 9 Orange County reporter Michelle G. Lee is live in Santa Ana with details on why Ford has the green light to fly again. Michelle? That's right. His lawyer issued a statement this afternoon, and what he told uh, the media is that this actor, Harrison Ford, will not be facing any sort of flying restrictions. This actor and this pilot has been flying now for more than 20 years. It's, uh, it's great. Harrison Ford will not be facing any action from the FAA, his lawyer announced this afternoon. This after the 74-year-old actor and pilot mistakenly landed his yellow single-engine Husky on a taxiway at John Wayne Airport eight weeks ago. When the schmuck had landed on the taxi. <laughs> Video of the incident in Santa Ana, February 13th, shows Ford flying close to an American Airlines jet that was holding on the tarmac with 116 passengers on board. This is an audio recording from the John Wayne Airport Tower. But the controller even stated um, that, that there, there was a at least, you know, less than 100 feet, at least in his perspective. So um, we know it was definitely okay. not a good position for him to be in. So can I just get your name and your pilot's license? My name is Harrison Ford. Okay. My pilot's license. My backpack. Okay. Take your time. No big deal. Yeah. Well, it's a big deal for me. Attorney Stephen Hofer says the FAA closed its inquiry into the landing and acknowledged Ford's long history of compliance with the federal aviation regulations and his cooperative attitude during the investigation. Mr. Ford has held a pilot certificate for more than 20 years, has logged more than 5,000 hours in the air, and has never been the subject of an FAA administrative or enforcement action. And you may remember back in 2015, Harrison Ford crashed a vintage plane on a golf course in Venice. Then the FAA ruled that the engine on that plane lost power. And back in 1999, Ford also crashed a helicopter during a training session in Ventura County. That's the latest live in Santa Ana. I'm Michelle Geely. Back to you.